Hey guys, welcome to Master Monday, Master the Week. I'm your host, Pastor Emmy Lobley Clanton, the senior pastor of Salt Life Experience Church in Kyers, Georgia. Listen, you know the drill. I want you to make sure that you subscribe to this channel right now. This is your first time. Welcome. If this is your returning time, welcome back. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put uh, a lot of videos on here that don't necessarily go on my Facebook. So I want you to make sure that you get an alert uh, by subscribing to this channel. Also, uh, visit our church website at uh, www.saltlifeexperience.com. There you can watch Sunday's message uh, in its entirety, okay? So let's hop on in and let's get to the meat. You know, on these Master Mondays, Master of the Week, we take uh, the message or the prophetic word that came forth on Sunday service and I basically break them down into, you know, uh, key points and principles to focus on throughout the week because that's the importance of getting the word on a Sunday uh, on the, the days that we come to, to together to worship um, the Lord and so uh, God gives us direction during Sunday services he gives us uh, uh, invitation to you know seek him more about certain things and we just get you know strengthened by coming together uh and worshiping together and lifting up jesus so listen this is what i want to share with you guys about this week what to focus on and the word for this week is you are breaking out of confinement you're breaking out of confinement i want you to go with me to micah uh chapter 2 verse 13. this is again uh it's one of the micah is one of the minor prophets in the Bible. Um, it's a nice little book uh, and it's in the Old Testament. So you go to Micah chapter 2 verse 13 and I just want to read something to you and I'm reading from the message translation, okay? I love the message Bible, especially if you are um, trying to get more um, time to study the word and read the Bible um, and you want kind of a more direct approach to say like, what is this passage meaning? The Message Bible is a great place to start because it really breaks down in layman's terms what the scriptures uh, mean uh, when it's coming from, you know, the old English, the King James Version. OK, so I still love my King James. Don't get me wrong, but I love the Message Bible, especially if you're trying to get a really basic understanding of what the scripture is saying and a breakdown of that of the context of what's going on. Okay. So here in Micah uh, chapter two, verse 13, we see it says, uh, this is God speaking. He's prophesying. And he's saying to Micah, he said, I'm calling a meeting Jacob. Now, what does Jacob represent in the Bible? So Jacob's name uh, is, is actually uh, changed to Israel. So Jacob is Israel. He is the, uh, you know, when we say God is the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the, the three generations, uh, Abraham being the father of the faith, uh, you know, of the Judo Christian faith. Uh, God started with Abraham, then Abraham's son, Isaac, beget his son, Jacob. Now, Jacob is the one who wrestled with God and God changed his name like he did with his grandfather. God changed Abraham's name from Abram to Abraham. And now we see with his grandson, with Jacob, God changes Jacob's name from Jacob to Israel. OK, and God said that he would make Jacob be a great nation. OK, this was a prophecy that's being fulfilled through that. He, that God gave to his his grandfather, who was Abraham, that he would make a great nation out of him and his descendants. So Jacob's name gets changed to Israel. So when you see Jacob here, uh, when he says, I'm calling a meeting Jacob, that means he's technically calling the nation of Israel because he changed Jacob's name to Israel. And of course, we have the Israelites that came out of Jacob. So again, when you see that. I'm calling a meeting Jacob. He's really saying, I'm calling a meeting with Israel, my people, the nation. He says, I'm calling a meeting Jacob. I want everybody back, all the survivors of Israel. He says, I'll get them together in one place. Who? He's talking about Israel, his children. He says, I'm going to get them together in one place like sheep in a fold, like cattle in a corral a miling throng of homebound people. I'm going to gather all of my people together like one big family reunion. He says, then I, God, will burst all confinements. I, God, will burst all confinements and lead them out into the open. He says, they will follow their king and I will be out in front leading them. So God says, I'm going to gather all of 
Israel together and I'm going to put them in like a, a, a sheepfold. And of course, a sheepfold has, uh, you know, uh, there are confinements to keep them all together from running out. But he says, what I'm going to do is after I gather them all together, I'm going to burst them out from all of their confinement, from their quarantine. And I'm going to lead them out into the open and I will be their king and they're going to follow me. So yesterday's service was a very prophetic uh, service in nature. Really, the Holy Spirit came through and he was he wanted to literally burst us out. You know, for many of you know, we've been doing our 10 day fast, our 10 day turnaround fast. And yesterday, June 21st was the completion of that fast. And so what God was doing, in essence, the number 10 represents the completion of a cycle. The completion of a cycle and so it made sense though that the, the the prophetic move of god came to say i'm going to literally break you guys out of confinement i'm going to bring you out into a new normal the cycle that you were in before i'm completing that and i'm going to burst you out you guys have been fasting you've been seeking me you've been looking for me to break you out of strongholds break you out of constriction to break you out of whether it's mental anguish if it's financial bondage if it's relational bondage if it's you know uh bondage in your career even as a people for the african american people bondage as a people who have been in oppression god is saying i'm bursting you out of confinements you know and so that is the word I want you guys to focus on and really meditate and take with you this week, Micah 2 and 13, that the Lord is breaking us out of confinements and that he is going to lead us out into the open and he is going to be our king and we're going to follow him. He's leading the way. The glory of the Lord is going before you. So I just want to prophesy to you today that the Lord has gone up before you. The breaker has gone up before you. And I want to encourage you, brother. I want to encourage you, sister. I want to encourage my spiritual sons and daughters listen that God is on our side he is going up before us and he's breaking us out of confinement he's breaking us out of constriction he's breaking us out of shame he's breaking us out of bondage and he is gone up before us to say you know what that cycle what you were going through my son my daughter what you were going through these last six months I am breaking you out of it I am breaking you out of toxic relationships right now I'm breaking you out of dead end jobs I'm breaking you out of controlling religious churches I'm breaking you out of of relationships that are not beneficial to you. I'm breaking you out of even self-sabotaging. It's a myriad of different things that may plague us uh, as sons and daughters of God. We may not all be going through the same thing, but I want to let you know that there have been a, there have been a, a spirit assigned, uh, sent against God's children to bind us up to bind us up, to keep us from being able to move freely, to get us to suffocate, to get us to just, you know, give up and say, I can't go any further. But God, he said, you guys have been fasting. You've been asking for turnaround. You've been asking for breakthrough. He said, and at this time, this appointed time, I am breaking you out of confinement. So listen, you might be in a place right now where the, the fast has been completed and, you know, you may be seeing some breakthrough, but maybe there's some areas in your life where you're still needing to see the hand of God. Maybe there's some areas in your life where you're still needing to see, experience some, some breakout. Well, I just want to encourage you right now. Three things I want you to do. The first thing I want you to do is change your confession to Micah 2, 13. I want you to be prophesying and declaring. I want you to be decreeing over your life, over that situation. Take the word of God and speak it because there's power in the word of God and say, I am breaking out of confinements and God is bringing me out into the open. The Lord is going up before me and he's going to lead the way. Okay. So I just want you to, you know, continue in that vein to keep confessing that. That's number one, confess Micah 2, 13. The second thing I want to invite you to do is maybe you need to stay on your fast. If you feel like there are some areas in your life where you still, you know, you're right on the, the, the cusp and you want to see change, but maybe there's some things that are still hanging in the balance. I just want to encourage you and invite you. Listen, we may not be fasting corporately as a body, uh, uh, you know, after, you know, June 21st, after that was over, but you can continue if the Holy Spirit leads you Stay on your fast. Maybe go another five days, another 10 days, another two days, another three days. Just keep going with your fast until you feel the Holy Spirit say, all right, I am 
breaking you out of these confinements and now you can get off of your fast. Stay fasting a little while longer because remember, fasting gives us strength. It gives us discipline. It helps to break the yoke, okay? So I want you to just invite you to continue fasting individually or maybe get a group of your friends together and say, hey, you want to stay on this fast a little while longer? Let's keep on seeking God. I want to see uh, even more breakthrough happen. So that's the second thing. And the third thing I want you to do is I want you to have faith. I want you to not give up. I want you to realize that even though you may not be able able to see the hand of God. I want you to be able to trust that trust him even if you can't trace him because I promise you he is working. He is working even when you don't see it. I love the song Waymaker uh, where it says even when I don't see it you're working. Even when I don't feel it you're working. You never stop working God. You never stop working. So I just want you to build your faith. Those three things if you can do that this week by all means i want you to know that god is true to his word he is not a man that he should lie nor is he a son of man that he must repent i want you to know that god is true to his word and he's going to do exactly what he said that he would do he just needs you to do your part okay so uh that's the word i invite you again to go back to our service and watch it listen it's a lot of uh worship it's a lot of prophetic singing a lot of praying and, you know, I think it's so important that we be flexible in the body of Christ to if, if God wants to move this way, if he says, you know what, I'm not going to do a traditional service today where there's going to be a preached message. Instead, I want to have the pastor, you know, sing over you guys songs of liberation and freedom. And I want you guys to come up to the altar and pray and get deliverance and get freedom. And you can so he can break you out that we flow with that, that we understand, Lord, do whatever you feel is necessary for me to get free from whatever chains are trying to hold me. So I invite you just to go watch that service. You can find it on our um, on our uh, website. You can watch it. It's on the side. Uh, play back the, the, the video um, and, you know, just have the songs playing. There were many, many prophetic songs that were being sung and, and breakthrough that was happening. And God was just ministering to us through the, the gift of the prophetic singing ministry. And so uh, a lot of praying and all that good stuff. So just play that, put that in the atmosphere. Um, and I just want to pray with you really, really quick. Can I do that? Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that you are breaking us out of confinement, God, that you, the, that you are the breaker and that you are going up before us to prepare the way. So this week, God, I pray that you will send forth your glory on this week. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus against every attack against every assault of the enemy that may try to come against your children to hold them back into an old state of, uh, of mind. God, I pray that you will break the cycles of, of uh, poverty, of lawlessness, break the cycles of, of, uh, of sexual sin, break the cycles of addiction, God, break the cycles of insecurity, break the cycles of fear, God, break cycles of shame, Lord God. And I just ask that you just Burst us out, burst your people out from uh, whatever confinements that we're trying to hold them back, God, and allow them to propel and accelerate like never before in this season. I pray these things uh, that your angels will be released around them, God. I loose angels right now on assignment to go forth and begin orchestrating things in their favor as they prophesy the word of the Lord, that the angels will take the word of the Lord that is spoken and go uh, and go to perform it. So we thank you for this right now, this reality that even if we can't see it with our natural eyes, we know the truth of your word that says that you are going to work and you are working in our lives, whether we can feel it physically or whether we just believe it and feel it spiritually, we know that you are working in our lives. And we thank you, God, that you are breaking us out of all confinement. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I love you guys. Please like this video, share this video, and subscribe. I want to get these uh, my subscribers up to at least 100 subscribers. By the end of the month, I've got about nine more days before uh, we're into the next month in May. So help me get subscribers up. Let's get these subscribers up. Uh, I want to uh, help this, this message of the gospel reach as many people as possible. And I need your help to do it. So share this video, like the video and subscribe today. I love you guys. Have a blessed one.